Hello, I've been meaning to do this video for a while now um, since I've been getting comments recently on the video that was over three years ago now. Um, but I wanted to do basically an update video on it on how to do music or sound mods for Persona 5 Royale on um, Steam because the original video goes and mods the sound files in vanilla OG original <laughs> whatever you want to call it persona 5 on the ps3 via emulation so there's actually a few differences um so i'm gonna just link back to that video anyway because i don't really want to go over doing loop points again because that's fine that's still the same no differences there and most of the tools are the same the only difference I will be showing later is another tool that you got to use to encrypt the sound files because in P5R they are encrypted and you got to make sure they're encrypted uh, to be able to use in the game. So thankfully with uh, P5R it has its own oh, whoops its own actual mod uh, launcher which is just reloaded too and I'm gonna go into the mod folder and show off one of the BGM mods that I did a while back so I'll just do this one so thankfully with this one you don't actually have to uh, whoop, that's not the right one you don't actually need to do where is it oh, down here down here so I'll just do this one as an example so thankfully with this you don't have to re package the BGM you can just set it up via the actual songs themselves um, so that you can like mix and match your mods um, as long as they don't replace the same sound file then usually it should work this only seems to work with music files like the BGM it doesn't seem to work with like um, voice uh, files or the sound effects in a system uh, sound file. I've tried it but it just doesn't play it at all so I think this only works for music at the moment from at least lastly of what I've seen. I haven't been modding it lately. Anyway this is just uh, an example of what it should look like at the end uh, but I'm not I'll just go back into this. So I guess to start it off you're going to need reload to in order to get this mod up and running we go into manage mods for this to to create a new mod so yeah where because this is just going to be a test we'll just write it as tutorial bgm um bgm m dot there we go you don't need to write it like this Okay, and then so just all this is just good old normal stuff. Uh, BGM two twenty, and I'll just leave this all blank because this is important. So I need these two emulation things so that it'll work with the music. Uh, we go next, and then uh, I'm not gonna bother with that because, like I said, this is just for the tutorial. So we save that in a little shop here, but I typically just go in here instead. There it is. Well, it's all the way down here. I'll put this on, but we got to open up the folder that it's in. So this is a lovely folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that other mod that I did just to correspond with making it a little bit easier. Um, but I won't use... Uh, where is it? The striker one, yeah, because that's smaller. So this is just to set it up. Whoops. BGM. Nope, <laughs> that's not a B. All right, so that's all up in there. I can't remember what the last surprise song is, so. Thankfully, this is just easy enough to go up to. BGM, and then last surprise. 118, okay. Sweet. 
So then, I've already got the song that I want to do, which is Lost Surprise right here. So in order for this to work, um, you need to encrypt it. So, um, what is this? Uh, I have a lot of my encryption stuff in a completely different folder. That's, what, I didn't delete this? No, okay, hang on. Uh, there it is. And it's in this folder instead. I do have a lot of different freaking scripts, but it shouldn't be too hard. So um, I got to copy and put this in here. And then for this one, this is another thing that you'll need, which is PowerShell. So this will come up. And then let me see the encryption scripts. PC encryption scripts. Copy this. And so that would should work. And so it gets the encrypted one for it to be used in the game. Uh, I guess I will have like a copy and paste of like this script thing here in the link, oh, in the link, in the description. Um, so then we just, we can just go ahead and get rid of these. Um, and then I need, I'm going to go back into... Oh, I guess I can just go back into, nope. Yeah, I'll just use this as a rename. Rename that. And we put it in here. And that is like just basically the extra step that you need to do uh, in order to get the sounds to work in Royale. And it, it, it's not too hard if you want to do like the system stuff, like you want to change stuff in there. All you got to do is you got to like encrypt it in here and then just replace it in that Sonic audio tool thing. Um, that's the wrong one. And then, yeah, so you just put it in there um, like you do, then replace it and then just drag it over there and then do something similar you gotta like set it up in like how the other mods are done for p5r instead of using the emulator thing here but they do work i have done mods for the other sounds and you can replace them it just takes a little bit more steps to do but it's very similar to the other one just make sure to encrypt your files okay <laughs> so we're gonna test this out in the game fingers crossed hopefully it works <laughs> Okay, so we got it up. I'm just going to go into the thieves' den. You know, it's easy to test that way. What am I using the keyboard for? <laughs> and there we go. The modded version over there. It's actually really, it's, in my opinion, I think it's easier to do the sound mods in Royale compared to how we used to do them for vanilla P5. So that's basically it. Um, I hope it helps. Um, I will make sure to have the link to what is... I'll have the links to the previous tools that you still got to use. And then also the tool for PowerShell that you got to use as well. And also, uh, I'll probably just put a text um, file in there containing like the code for um, encrypting it. Anyway, that should be it. I hope it helped. That's just it. That's the main thing. All right. I don't know when the heck I'm going to see you guys. I've kind of stopped bothering with videos. I'll be real honest. <laughs> I just upload what the heck I find funny and that's it. End of story. I'll see you guys later.